What is good, everybody? So Kendra Miller, let's talk about him for this video. Didn't get a lot of opportunities this year. He dealt with some injuries, some illnesses. He only played in three games where he got three or more touches. And, you know, the last game against Atlanta was really his opportunity. Um, he got 13 carries for 73 yards, which averages out to about 5.6 yards per attempt, which is really, really good. So that was nice to see in the finale. Let's take a look at some of the plays from this game and see what we can hopefully look forward to in the future from Miller. All right, first play here, we got a little inside run. We're going to have Lynn Bowden Jr. motion to like the fullback area. He's going to lead the way. And Miller's just reading this linebacker right here. If this linebacker goes outside, which he does, Miller's going to take it up the middle. If he were to crash in the inside, then Miller would look to bounce it outside. So let me go ahead and press play here for you. And right off the bat, Miller does a nice job of this cut right here. Boom, getting rid of Calais Campbell, pressing the run inside, another jump cut. And almost makes that third level defender miss. But again, a nice little explosive run to start things off from Kendra Miller. Next play, this is going to be on a duo concept. We're going to have a double team right here on this guy. McCoy is going to work backside up to this linebacker. And this is nothing special here. But it's again, it's nice to see Miller hit the proper hole straight down the pipe. And, you know, I like how he tries to get skinny there at the end, trying to split the defenders right there to pick up a couple extra yards if possible. So again, nothing special on this play, but just nice to see him, you know, following his assignment, his blocks, and doing the right job. And then this play right here, this has nothing to do with Kendra Miller, but I had to throw it in this video. Have you ever been in class, maybe not paying attention, and the teacher calls your name to answer a question, and somehow by the grace of God, you get the answer correct? I feel like this was Derek Carr in this situation, right? This is obviously not Derek Carr's play. This is Taysom Hill. This is the Taysom Hill playbook, but Pete Carmichael in his last game ever, you know what? He was just letting it ride, and he called this for Derek Carr, and he, and he actually, you know, gets a nice little gain here. Next play here, we got a little fake end around pitch. Okay, they're gonna pitch the ball to Miller, try to get on the edge, and the Atlanta defense actually does a nice job of not really being fooled here on the backside. And I mean, look at this: we got one, two, three, four Falcon defenders, all with their eyes on Kendra Miller. Kendra Miller is at what the eight yard line. Okay, he scores a touchdown on this play. So, I mean, just whoop, jump cut. Again, physical, finish the run, stretch the ball out, score a touchdown. I mean, at this point, there is no reason why this should be a touchdown. But it just goes to show the shiftiness, the elusiveness, and, you know, the, the powerful finish there from Miller to just fight through those tackles, stretch the ball out, and score. Next play here, we're going to have a little bit of outside zone to the right. Everybody's just going to try to reach the guy this way and Miller does what he's supposed to do on this play. He's going to be reading the block of this guy. If this guy is going to be on this shoulder trying to shed the block of Cesar Ruiz this way, Miller's going to cut this thing back. If he were to like, you know, come inside here and this guy was taken out of the play by 77, then we'd keep this thing outside or C gap, but Miller does what he's supposed to do here. And again, reads the block right there. You can see Three technique is on the outside shoulder of Ruiz. So Miller just cuts this thing back. And look at that lane. Nice uh, nice job on the backside um, offensive line there. Boom. Another explosive play right there for Miller. Another physical finish. I like how he just puts his shoulder down at the end of these runs. Boom. And fights for a few extra yards there. So again, like a lot of these things are nice to see with Miller. Especially since we didn't get to see him a whole lot this year. So um, especially in the final game. Being able to see truly what he's got. And I got to give a shout out to my man, Andres Pete, right here. This was a nice job getting rid of 94 and then climbing up to the second level as well. Nice job there from Big Pete, who played really well at left tackle this year, by the way. And this next play here is just a draw play. And this is really good job improvising for Miller because the Falcons defensive line, this guy and this guy do a nice job on this play. Um, you'll see when I press play here what I mean. So again, draw, boom, right here. This guy does a nice job of beating Hurst, beating him inside. And then we got this guy kind of washing Cesar Ruiz down the line to kind of muddy things up for Miller. So what does Miller do? He sees this, right? He knows this is this is closing way too quick. So what do we do? We hit him with one of our jump cuts out of the way. 77's down there blocking. And again, another explosive run from Miller. I mean, this is like seeing that 25 on a Saints running back. Something about it just hits different, you know what I mean? Um, but again, like, the jump cut, I can tell like this is going to be Kendra Miller's signature move, the jump cut, because he is explosive out of it. 
And this next one here, another inside run concept, but my God, watch what Miller does to this poor linebacker right here. Okay, I mean, goodness gracious. I'm just gonna let this thing play full speed. Ugh, that's nasty. Okay, uh, again, like, press that thing outside, cut, like, look, like, your legs are not supposed to look like that. That's, I mean, what is that? We got the guy doing the Superman. I'll tell you what, if the Saints can get this Miller for the majority of a full season, look out. Okay, especially if they go with, you know, one of these Shanahan style offensive coordinators that they're looking to interview. Because my goodness, this guy, he can be special. I really believe it. Uh, nasty stuff. All right, this time we got a toss to the right. Again, just another explosive play from Kendra Miller. And, you know, this time Ruiz does a nice job here of stealing off his guy, reaching him to the right side there. Double team from McCoy to get to the backside, or excuse me, to the second level. And my favorite thing for Miller on this play is he presses this thing outside until the very last second. So we're going outside, 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 then he cuts it up, right? And you notice this guy out here, this corner safety, whatever he is, he's waiting out there because he thinks this thing is going outside. But again, Miller waits to the last second, cuts it up, and yet another explosive run. All right, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I appreciate you guys watching as usual. Going to have a lot of draft and stuff um, type of content coming soon. If there's any players you want to see, want me to take a look at and make a video about, let me know in the comments. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.